Horan, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Hi everyone, I'm Matter Wellens, and before the release of Life is Strange Episode 3, I wanted to talk about Warren a little bit. So let me first start off with my first impressions of him from Episode 1. He's kind of a nerdy, geeky, awkward kind of guy, spams Max a lot, but I feel that he's also likely someone that we can all relate to a little bit, whether we are him or we're on the receiving end of how he's acting towards Max. Basically, to me, he was just someone who wanted to really impress the girl that he liked, and maybe he was a little bit too pushy about it. When I first finished playing episode 2, I even thought that maybe Max liked him back, since she thought he was cute and didn't really resist when he tried to hold her. I didn't really think too hard about him again, until I realized there were some things I overlooked. What up, Max? How are you? First of all, his first appearance in episode 2 wasn't when we bumped into him outside of the dorms, but much earlier than that. He was actually peeking into our room in the very first scene of episode 2, when we were still in pajamas and everything. That's kind of creepy to say the least. And this is only the beginning of it all too. On my second playthrough, I found out that before asking us out on a date, it seems that like he's already asked Brooke. If you accept his invitation and talk to him again, he lets you know that he has to cancel his date with Brooke first. I have to tell Brooke I'm going with you to the movies instead. I'll text you later. If you don't accept and talk to him, he tries to make you jealous by mentioning that he will be going on his date with Brooke instead. Oh, I have to see if Brooke wants to go into the drive-in, Max. Maybe I'll see you later. Now, I really don't like how he's using Brooke here as a backup, basically because he wants a safety net of sorts to save face or whatever. That's kind of manipulative, and throughout the first two episodes, I think we can tell that Brooke likes him, although whether he knows or not is a different issue. But using anybody as a backup plan, I feel like there might be an integrity problem here. But, I do want to keep in mind that these kids are kind of young, 16, 17, 18, so I don't really want to fault him for it unless if he actually acts like a jerk big time. Up until now, my impressions of Warren were wavering a little bit, but then... Later on, when we are in the junkyard after having turned down his invitation, he tries to guilt trip us by saying that yes, we do owe him something. I know in text format, sometimes tones get lost, but it doesn't sound like he's joking about it here. This really, really ticked me off, because since when did a girl owe a guy a date just because he helped her out? Eureka! She's got it. No, you got it. Don't be so modest. Dr. Caulfield. Oh, you guys really broke the bounds of science. But putting all of this aside, there's still some ambiguity surrounding his relationships with others, I feel. At school in the science lab, you see a desk carving that says Warren plus Alyssa 2013. I'm not sure what this means exactly. Who wrote this? Does Alyssa have a crush on Warren? Does Warren like her back? If you talk to Alyssa after saving her from the toilet paper roll, she suggests that you talking to Warren would make Brooke jealous. Be careful, you might make Brooke jealous. Her tone of voice there doesn't seem to suggest any sort of jealousy though, so what's going on? Are they just really close friends? When we go to the girl's dorm and time stopped for us, you could actually see that Alyssa had her head on Warren's shoulder and he was kind of holding her too. Maybe if I just saw this event independently of everything else, I might think they're just really good friends, but going back to that little act of vandalism, I'm really not too sure what to think of their relationship. One possible explanation is that they're just being bullied by the Vortex Club, and you know how high school kids love to make fun of this kind of stuff, but I don't think we can be really sure of anything either way. All in all, I don't think Warren's a bad guy. He is pretty cute and dorky sometimes. He seems to be pretty supportive of Max as a friend, which is great, but I'm not a fan of his passive aggressiveness sometimes. At the end of the day though, none of this actually matters romantically, because if you read Max's journal, at least up until the end of episode 2, she makes it pretty clear that she only sees him as a big brother figure exclusively anyway. Now that it's May, and we're probably only a week or two away from the release of episode 3, hopefully we can get answers to some of these questions.